Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Delika Althea and in today's video, as read by the title, I'll be showing you guys how I achieved these three looks and comment down below which one is your favorite. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and continue watching the video. So guys, right now, as you can see, I'm spraying my hair with water and leave-in conditioner just to soften it up the night before I co-washed my hair. So right now, y'all, I have low porosity hair, as I mentioned in my previous video. And by the way, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you go and do so. Um, but yeah, I have low porosity hair. So getting it moisturized, I just have to skip through that process because, yeah, yeah, no. But right now, I'm just giving myself a middle part because me with no part, just pushing everything back. My hair, it just looks so weird, personally. It's just a personal thing. I just feel like a middle part looks much better on me and it's cute. So right now, y'all, the shrinkage is for you. Right now, I'm going to take some eco gel and I am going to apply it to my hair. Um, I have this process. It's a, it's a unique process. I don't know if it's unique. I don't know if other people do their hair the way i do it but this i find like this is the only way i can really get my hair truly sleek and to stay as long as possible like if i do my hair the way i'm doing it now it lasts me a whole week without me even having to freshen it up you know so this is what i do i first this is my first layer of eco gel and if you guys want to you know just follow through right now i'm going to part it not no um perfect part i'm just trying to get as much gel as possible up in this hair because i don't have the hair where i just put a little bit of eco gel on the top layer and everything stays down if you have that kind of hair child you are lucky but right now i really have to work this product in my hair and really paste it down i just had to fast forward that part because it was a process let me know comment down below if you guys have to do the same thing or is it just me is it just me do i am i the only one who have to layer all that gel in my hair but right now i'm just gonna section that part off and just put it in a scrunchie gyne se pum pum um or hair tie whatever you want to call it and yeah just tie that part first gotta do it by sections and then we move on to the next side Oh my gosh, y'all, I look so muscular. But you know what? You got a man handle this hair. We'll be gentle at the same time. So I'm just putting this up, as you guys can see. Put the hair up. Now, the sleeking process is not over. Like I said, I have a very unique way in which I sleek my hair to make it stay. So now, I'm going to add some got to be glue. And this, it has to be the yellow one. It cannot be the black one because it's too light and this also tames my frizz and everything keeps me oh my gosh this is like if i don't have this in my house i am going crazy especially if i have to deal with my natural hair and fun fact yes you have to press it down with your hand and then go in with a brush but fun fact um this is my first time going natural in my entire life from i was a kid um my hair was relaxed so i'm really figuring this out on my own going natural and figuring out how to fix my hair because usually it's my boyfriend who really convinced me like babe just do your hair like wear your hair out um because i was never gonna wear my hair out i'm just gonna just keep wearing wigs headband wigs everything you could think of um because oh it was just a process trying to figure out my hair and my texture but it's worth it you know and this is my first time actually trying clip ins um um when i was first introduced to it i fell in love so yeah i'm just trying to put y'all on and yeah so right now i'm fixing my edges which is another tedious process but this jam was really good that i use and i also love edge booster if you haven't tried that already but as far as the girls y'all it holds the edges all day all day and then I also go in and secure my edges and my hair with the Ebon Spray. This is also, oh my gosh, I just love this product so much. And I just tap it and it holds my edges and my hair all day, like literally all week. Then I go on my headscarf and I just tie that baby down. Oh 
and guys usually i do this overnight and then i wake up the next day and do the end but as you can see i was tired so i just went in with the blow dryer because y'all i had errands to run this day so i was just like yeah i can't be waiting on this hair so i use my blow dryer to speed up the drying process and voila this gonna have the weaves on swim but like i said i used the blow dryer so it wasn't giving the same effect it used to be more swimish you know for my first style i'm going in with three by three clip in yes this is from shein this is the same hair from the eight pack set um check out my previous video if you haven't already but i'm taking the two ends i'm wrapping one going to the left and i'm wrapping the next end in the opposite direction to the right and it's fairly secured once you've done so And as you can see, my hair is still peeking out, but don't you worry because we're going in with another three-piece three piece clip in. And we're going to do the same process. Take a piece of hair from the ends and we're just going to wrap it around. And keep in mind, we are not opening the clip ends because we're just wrapping the hair around, okay? So you don't have to have the comb open because we're just wrapping it around. So it's just sitting there, but this is secure. So now we're not going to stop there. Now we're going to take our scrunchie, but first we're going to split our hair into two sections because we're going to do a bun. So we're going to wrap one side, bring it over to the next side, and then put it in a spiral motion as I'm going to show you right now. Then now we're gonna go in and secure this with our scrunchie slash hair tie slash boom boom. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I know I'm not the only one who likes a cute little messy bun, so I pulled out a little bit of hair. I just have a little cute little curl right there. And now I'm going to show you guys how it looks from the back. Cute little bun. I love it. Cute. Who, who could tell me this is not my hair? Now I'm going to show you guys how I take this bun down. If you if I was wondering, it's fairly easy. You just, yeah, scrunchie off. Now moving on to style number two, we're gonna take our three by three clip in and we're gonna use some eco gel and define the curls at the end. I know, I know, in my previous video, I did tell you guys do not use eco gel, but what I meant to say was do not use it on the entire hair. And as you can see here, I'm just using it to define the ends of the curls and you will see the end results. And then I also went in and I sprayed it with my spray bottle off camera, um, just to add some, you know, some moisture back into the hair. So yes. I'm gonna keep fluffing the ends, fluffing the ends until I get the desired curls and the looseness that I was trying to accomplish. So right now, what I'm doing here, act for this style, I definitely did use the clip. So I'm forking it through and then I'm pressing it down and I'm going right around my bun. 
and i'm actually for the bottom of it which i will show you guys i actually went i took the clip in and i clipped it into my actual bun to make it extra secure which is not necessary for the style that i'm about to do but i just did it because it just felt secure extra secure so yeah So I took another three by three and I'm doing the same thing and I am using the clip in method around the other hair and if you have to you can fork it through onto the other hair the previous hair so that's what I'm doing and I'm going around and doing the same thing and by the way this is my favorite look out of all the hairstyles because it's just so natural and it's just giving my hair and it's like oh my gosh it would be so emotional no i'm playing but seriously this is the cutest style ever and this is the style i've gotten the most compliments on because it's just so cute but right now i'm gonna take my clip and it's literally so simple after you clip it in you just flip it up and you clip your clip into it and then the hair literally just falls i'm sorry my hand's blocking but you'll see you just clip it nothing shows because the hair is gonna fall right into the right places you know so hope tell me this is not my hair like look at the curls it's just matching so well but as you can see the hair was not balanced it was kind of longer on the other side so i just had to clip it again reclip it so i took it off and then i clipped it again but look at that y'all look at that at the waist on swim hope tell me this is not my hair literally freaking out right now because that's so cute so now I'm going to show you guys how it looks from the back. Tell me this is not so super cute. Literally so cute. Not me having a little praise break. Okay girl. Right here I'm just showing you guys me taking down this hair. I'm going to show you guys how I take down every hairstyle just so you know. But I'm just going to say this is just a little cute little disclaimer. You see that little bit of hair in the middle of my forehead? Do not look at that. That is my widow's peak. And it does not look good either on the left or the right. Therefore, I just be leaving it in the middle. Sometimes I swoop it, sometimes I don't. But today, I did not swoop it. You know, so she's just there. So now, onto the third hairstyle. We're using our 4x4. First style, we're using our 4x4 wear because we're kind of going for a more fuller look. Just a little bit full. So we're going in with our four by four and two of our three by three. So at first we're gonna go in with the four by four. We're gonna take in piece of the hair, the same method as the first style, and we're going to just wrap it around. just pop back in to say the camera cut out at this part but i literally just wrapped it the same way i did for the first style but now i'm gonna add the other hairs truthfully i could have just stayed with it just as such but because i wanted a little more full i added the other two three by threes so yeah we're just doing the same method wrapping it and wrapping it Right now I'm showing you guys if you feel like you can feel the clippings on the side you could just randomly grab some hair and literally just tuck it and you can secure this with a bobby pin if you like or if you want it to feel extra secure seeing that you just wrapped the hair and you want it extra security you can add a bobby pin right now I'm just fluffing it out just getting it to look how I want it to look 
I want it to look like semi wet, just a little bit, not too much and not too dry. This is how the hair looks on the back. I ended up wetting it a little bit more and fluffing it out. I started to feel myself a little bit. It's really cute. But guys, I ended up going back to my first hairstyle because it was just a real chill day, just running errands. But thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely love it. Comment down below which hairstyle you would try and which one you think looked the best. And make sure to check out my previous video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.